G'day folks, Andy here from McDowell Manor. Thought we'd um, do an overview of the manor for you. So this will be a bit of a complicated clip in terms of technical put together, but that's okay. So that's the manor. Um, we're going to give you a little map approach on that as well. So you can see the various bits of garden that we've got scattered around the place. So the first garden we're going to feature is the one I called the building site. I'm sure when they did the renovation to the house what they did was all their building offcuts they just threw out the front here um, and so this one's a bit of a challenge. There's a Duranta kind of hedgy screen informal on the front of it and then in the back we've got a little lime. Uh, this was all full of that gold Duranta uh, so I had to pull all that out, it was a bit of a chore. The neighbour's water runs through the yard. There's rainwater, so I've tried to sort of make that look a bit like an old creek bed. That's a work under, under progress. There's a little bird bath there. An old log out of a, out of a fish tank. Yeah, it's probably better to see that there, the bird bath that way. Um, and you can see we've got solar lights in out here as well. This is really... A very slow job. I'm not rushing to get it done. Um, it's all got to be reweeded and eventually planted. The only productive thing I've got out the front here at the moment is a couple of zucchinis. We have grown pumpkins successfully out here before, um, but not at the moment. So that's the building site. An aerial view. Of the building site. Now this is I'm up on my top veranda right now. You can see the big whopping tree stump there um, and behind that is that little fake creek bed that I was talking about. Way down there is our, our fresco dining area. Those trees are around the front and you'll get a better view obviously when we're downstairs. Uh, they're kumquats. So here we are at ground level in that El Fresco dining area. Uh, I'll try and get to a place that's a bit sensible to look back at the house and give you an idea. That's our little bird bar, uh, little bird house that we got from the markets. A uh, little bonsai there. That's old mate Orpheus, the muse. This is all lit up at night too. There's a whole bunch of little up lights around in here uh, very nice very pretty I've got to say at night plant at the bottom is obviously bougainvillea a couple of azaleas in pots there's the barbie that palms in mid come out of the pot my Rosie decided she doesn't want palms out the front and well, I guess what my Rosie wants my Rosie gets that um, little barbecue there I've got hopes and dreams to use that as a smoker Oh, there's the old, the, the little old dog. He's, well, how old is he? He's got to be 15 too, that little bloke. Originally, there were, that's Louie. There was originally two. Uh, his litter mate's sister it was the same age, obviously. Um, she passed away about six months ago from cancer, the poor little mite. Um, and Louie went downhill rapidly after that. So we've got... A bit of space there, I'm hoping to talk Rosie into letting me put something productive there right beside that hibiscus. It's quite a pretty little hibiscus. A whole bunch of different bromeliads. Another hibiscus that's been well and truly pruned there behind Orpheus. Uh, this thing here behind, directly behind Orpheus, the bigger one, that's what's called night jasmine. Um, so there you go folks, that's the Al fresco dining area with the main barbie there. So here we have the Japanese garden looking one down one way. That's probably better. Uh, that thing in the middle is a little uh, pond and yes it does work and the water normally comes out of that bamboo spout but you can probably see one bit of the spout fell off so I've got to fix that one 
Uh, here we've got my Rosie's orchids. Aren't they rippers? She does a good job, that woman, I tell you. And I'll give you a look from the other side as well. So this is from inside the house, uh, looking through in exactly the opposite direction to what we were before. That's where we were standing. And I'll just come around the corner here, so bear with me. So what you can see is this entire wall this is all glass, so it really is quite pleasant. Looking out there, that's the garage, which I use as a studio, uh, and the same deal, it's all glass too, so really is quite a pleasant little outlook through there into the Japanese garden. So I'm actually still standing in the Japanese garden here. You can see a couple of huskies on the other side there, the old girls. That's the back of the garage. Um, we're looking into the big girls' yard now, obviously. There's some planter boxes. But believe it or not, I built myself. Come on, old girl, out the way. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. That's a girl. Okay, that I built myself. I'm quite proud of that. Um, so between the planter boxes you can see I put a bench seat behind it. I've put some lattice screen. Uh, there's some fruit trees in there. That's a tomato growing up that trellis. Uh, there's a new little... That one looks like a cucumber. Uh, so it'll make use of the trellis. Carrots in front. This one's looking a bit empty at the moment and a bit sad from the heat. Um, so she's got a dwarf mandarin, and in the back there is some beans. Oh, the plan is I'll pull them over onto the same trellis set tomatoes on. That's a solar light. The other side is a lemonade tree, solar light. Uh, there's a bean in the back there. I think that one's a bean. Yeah, that'll be a bean. Uh, in the back, uh, there's some tomatoes sprung up. That little lettuce was the spare that I didn't put in the hydroponic garden. Uh, capsicums. Uh, chili, I think that one is. Alright, this other bench seat. We've got a fig. Uh, tomato. Beans. And we've got, I think that's more beans, uh, and a couple of different eggplants. That's a little Lebanese one, and you can see behind there is the purpley striped white one. So that's the other bench seat I built. Uh, we now call this the orchard. A, that one's a lime. Um, we call it the orchard now because we can actually sit in there makes it much nicer out here now we never used to use this yard to be honest there's the wood-fired pizza oven oh, magnificent beast of a thing there's the old girl's house we had to move it out of the raised garden bed because the old girl's too big to get in there now there's the oft-seen hydroponics aquaponics system i've bung the um shade cloth on that today I'll give you a quick look. Oh, look, there's a water cup. I've said it once, I'll say it again. Stay hydrated when working in the sun, kids. Uh, so we've put a whole bunch, almost 20 lettuces down one side. There's some strawberries in the back. Uh, beans and um, cucumber. A little rhubarb in the corner for a try. These tomatoes were in the previous little bed. That's why they're looking so sad. Uh, they only just got moved out today and it's been as hot as Hades here, so they've suffered a bit. My big yellow chilli has suffered a lot. Um, and that, that's another eggplant, the big normal purple one. All those strawberries come out the dirt garden, not the ones on the other side. You can see, now isn't that incredible difference from that one little lettuce that was in that planter box I showed you. Have a look at how its colleagues have gone in the in the uh, aquaponics bed. That's the replacement lettuces for the tomatoes. Geez, it's hard to remember. They were all like that once. Holy mackerel. 
Um, but there you go, folks. So I've got over here. Uh, that's compost tea, so I've got an aerator in there. I'll probably do a series on composting at some stage. I've actually finished that pipe work now. That's let me get under here, see if I can show you. No, it's too far under. It's actually clamped on up there, and you can see it's nailed with a saddle on this end, so it avoids that any chance that pipe will fall out. Uh, there you go, that's the big girl's yard. Oh, I might just give you a look back down. There you go, from the other end. Kiani walking around. That fat girl's lying on her bed there. Um, all this furniture will probably get put back out at some stage in the middle now that I've done mucking around with all my building. Um, it's lit, there's a floodlight directly above my head and there's one there as well. Um, we've got the solar lighting in the conversation orchard. There you go. Now I'm actually back in the alfresco garden, um, uh, looking towards what we call the little dog's yard. That's where little Louie and his sister Shozzy used to go. Uh, there's a garden arch there. I don't know if you can see in the brightness, but it's got some climbers just started on that. The other thing I put in here was a grape. So I'm hoping that arch will be quite pretty when the grapes are growing over and we've got big bunches of pendulous grapes. Uh, that's silver beet. Uh, that's that Kang Kong Manus sweet leaf patel thing. Uh, that's what we call a mushroom leaf. I don't know what to build now. And we look down here, that's another garden of more silver beet. There's a few little tiny carrots in the back, but you probably can't even see them. Beside it is a lemon. A little lots of lemon. Uh, there's a look up the side. It's quite a narrow side you can see, but I think we've put it to reasonably good use with all the garden beds bunged in up there. Well, we'll have a wander down the little dog's yard. There's a little table there to sit at. Oh, the pot's blowing over in the wind. That's a fake one. Don't panic. No lavender was hurt during the making of this film. There's some um, seedlings that I've been mucking with. Uh, what you can see there is mostly basil. There's a few tomatoes in the front that hasn't sprouted yet because I'm going to put them in yesterday. Uh, some radishes and some perpetual spinach. You can see the fence is covered, absolutely bloody covered, in passion fruit vine. Um, and the passion fruit vine is getting pretty much covered in passion fruit right now. Uh, I'm not big on passion fruit, but my Rosie loves them, so that's why they're here. Uh, that little monstrosity thing, um, was just me storing pots to be frank but on top that's ginger um, growing from knobs out of the kitchen you can probably see see that knob sticking out of the ground there look at that eh there's an empty pot that's my vertical garden the top's got garlic in it the side ones are empty Rosie wants to put flowers in them uh, they did originally have basil this garden's a bit sad it needs a rejuvenation uh, that's a lemony sage there in the front um, there's a little dwarf orange that Rosie snuck in there on me the bugger I'll have to move that uh, that's climbing spinach so it died back I cut it back then and it's sprouting all up again uh, a few nasturtium leaves uh, some little flowers in the front uh, that I think is a salvia. I got that from my mate Lissa. Holy hell Lissa, it's going great guns. Thanks for that one Dale. It's a ripper. Uh, that's a sweet potato. For those who don't know, you can also eat the leaves. I make pesto out of them. I'll probably do a video on that too. There's more passion fruit. You can see she can, Rosie went crazy on the damn passion fruit. There's a real lavender. Oh, 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 some chives. Uh, some more chives. That little fella they're pumpkin seeds coming up out of my uh, compost. This little garden looks a bit naked at the moment because it's um, just been refilled today. Uh, what do we got? That I think is a blackberry. Never done real well. Don't have the heart to kill it though. Some flowers. Um, that bush there. You can see. Now that's a potato. Geez, the wind blown. My hat just went right over the fence. I'll have to go and get that in a little while. Uh, potato that I planted in there was just one that I cut up and shoved in the ground. 
There's, oh, isn't that cute? Look at that ant walking along. And on this side we've got ladybird helpers in there. Look at that, eh? Who says I'm a heartless mongrel? We've got more sweet potato that I planted. The same way I did the spuds, just chopped off the end off a sweet potato and shoved it in the ground. Bob's your uncle. I'm expecting we'll get some root crop out of this garden this season. The first season I didn't, but I didn't really expect to. Not when you top and tail. That's a little lettuce that sprung up by itself. It's a volunteer. I'm hoping that's garlic. Actually looks like garlic. There's some chives beside it. That's why I'm confused. Bit of rosemary. Some parsley gone to seed in the back. I don't know if you can see that. Bit of bloody rosemary. All right. And feral. There's the parsley. Oh, mackerel. Look at the seed on that parsley. That's lemongrass. Tough as old nails. Great for Asian cooking. There's my little chilies. Uh, there is a bell that big sticks there. The cupboard now in passion fruit. That was a bell chili as well. Uh, a bit of thyme, I think, under there. There's a gooseberry in there. I'd never eaten gooseberry. Quite liked it. Uh, still more of the crazy passion fruit vine. A couple of pawpaws in the back there. I don't dig on pawpaw, but of course Rosie does what Rosie does. And shoved a dozen or three in there and now I'm getting overtaken by bloody pawpaws. We've got, uh, it's a bit messy because I'm using the water to refill my aquaponics tank. Uh, I had an accident when I was connecting one of the pipes and lost a lot of water. Um, there's three bins I've used to compost. I've drilled a heap of holes in them which you probably can't see but you'll just have to believe me. Um, there's the recept the place where all the old dead pots live. Uh, now here's my water, rainwater tank number one. Uh, yeah, it is big. And here's rainwater tank number two. Uh, yeah, it goes as high as a two-story house. Um, you can probably hear the pumps running. Like I say, I'm using it to fill my aquaponics bed. Uh, so that, my friends. Well, I'll just turn around. Bloody passion fruit mines. Christ. Oh, there's my gas for the house. Uh, and there you can see it. So that's the little dog's yard. Oh, I also call this uh, the, dirt, the dirt veggie patch. Or the dirt garden. So that's welcome to MacDowell Manor. I hope you've enjoyed our little tour. Holy mackerel, it's blowing. Things are flashing, thrashing around in the wind. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed our little tour. And I hope this one serves as a, a bit of a marker point. So... Over time we can see how the garden develops and grows and let's see how it goes, eh? That's what it's all about.